Number three. Shot. Oh, that's just not good enough. And it's been made safe by Diara. It was another good position, finding the wide open shooter. And the scramble for it sees so Ken Brown look like he got the last touch trying to keep the ball alive, so it will be Petro de Luanda basketball. Well, just a couple of instructions there from uh, Coach Said El Buzidi emphasizing on the need to intensify their defense. That's why you see them picking Petro de Luanda man for man. They don't want to leave any excuse on the court today. It's, it's, it's all about that. Now we have a very intense finale. Now we have, like, sort of, you know, everything counts here. You talk about the small things in a basketball game. It's now that it really matters. Team that executes best generally comes away with the win. Gonçalves. Nelson has it in his hands. Tightly marked there by Ken Brown. Tries to go around him. Oh, he's had a few problems, but he uses his strength, gets the shot in. Oh, it comes back out to Gaku. But, uh... Chakla goes off. The officials are calling for another 14 seconds. And the refresh didn't happen inside the arena, but the Petro de Luanda will keep the possession. Officials very quick to react to that. Very experienced officials, and they'll know just uh, how to keep calm, especially as the temperaments run high here down the stretch. Yeah, they've got a lot of pressure on their shoulders too, because this is uh, this, this is this is uh, this is money time, isn't it? Oh, it's been picked up. Done now. He goes. Look how quick he is. Oh, that's nearly just gone over the top there. Who did it touch? It's going to be Petro in possession. And that's the value of having a defender like Diara inside the paint. Dunda was anticipating the contest. He almost overcompensated. And fortunately for him, the last touch comes off the defender. But you, you just understand what having a defender like Diara inside the paint means. Petro, Dunda goes up. And that's going to be a shot clock for him. Yeah. Wow, this is very tense and tight. Now, let's have a look. Ben Maheen. Yeah, he's been given a technical foul there, and it will be shooting for Petra there and Dundal. Yeah, it's Ben Maheen who goes in, and you can see that there's just a little bit of contact with his hand. And hence the reason why he's... Uh, but Gaku's going up for the, for the free throw line. He must have said something to the official. He, he said something actually to Dundao. Or to Dundao. See, those are the moments, the little lapse of concentration. All of these fine details. They're they important, aren't they? They managed to string together a couple of great defensive possessions. That could shift momentum. Zuita. Well, that's out. Back out. Jordan, Jordan for three. Oh, it's a beautiful bucket. Sensational. Big time Jacob. shot. Big time shot from Jordan. Seven points. Minutes left to play. Gaku under pressure. Got to go looking for it now. It's not going to come to you unless you don't get your hands on it. Nelson, Nelson. Does well, really well. They need to turn this into points. Jordan picks it up. Another three points are coming his way, potentially, who knows? Brown, Brown, gets it out to Ben Maheen. Ben Maheen, Jordan, Jordan for a shot, they gotta go. Eight seconds, Ben Maheen back out. And there's Azorka for three, it's a stunning, stunning three-point shot down in the corner. And look at the reaction from the Fusra players coming off the bench. Once again, patience on the offensive end, making the extra pass, finding the shooter wide open in the corner, and all of a sudden, they've started to find their range and their touch, and it's a four-point game. Timeout calls, and of course, that will give them the ch the just enough time to just adjust and work out what they're going to do next. This is sensational. What a stunning fight back it's been from Fusta Rabat. They trailed by as much as 20 points, and now in this final little minute, or this final minute of the contest, it is a two-possession game. It's a four-point game, and a good defensive possession for Fus might see them get back within one. Yeah. 19-point lead they had at one point Q. Um, you know, just uh, which is exactly the same, but you just get the impression that you know Petro not 
being tight enough for those crucial moments, but it's also Fus Rabat who've been really fighting hard as we see Chilidon Dow's stats for the day. He's gone a bit quiet here in the fourth quarter in terms of his scoring, but 24 points, 53 percent. He's been dynamic on both ends of the floor. We've seen him unlock levels in his offensive game, and it's been fun to witness inside and outside. He's been absolutely dynamic. And talking about uh, dynamic, Coach Said El Bozidi has, you know, emphasized his players that they need to get that ball in the hands of Jordan. He's the man with the fire hands at the moment, and he could get them across the line. It's just 30 seconds to go. Let's see if uh, they'll get this one. Thank you, Asha. It's, yeah, it's all about the hot hands, isn't it? Jordan, Dundao, the battle of those, uh, you know, the playmakers, those, those wonderful flashy speedsters who have been lighting up this wonderful court here in Pretoria. Well, he has three of the six made threes, does Jordan, in the second half. They were ice cold in the first, and they'll be willing and hoping that he can get one more. Gaku takes the pass there from Dundao. Need to get possession. Shot, the clock is going down, of course. 25 seconds remaining. Booster Abbas needs to try and react. Moraes picks it up. He's coming on. Long range shot. Oh! <laughs> Moraes! What a moment for magical Moraes! At the other end, oh, there's two there for that man of Zorga. This is sensational. Quick score back the other way. Big time shot from Moraes. And there is contact call. Frustration everywhere from the first Rabat players. Petro Luanda will get possession and uh, it is a foul that's been committed just look at that look at it big moment and golden legend sharp shooting carlos moraes knocks down an important three his only three in this one <laughs> that's the crazy thing he's only just come back on he picked up four fouls you know earlier on you know in the third quarter and uh, you know we haven't seen him since he comes on and he does that well uh, it's called money time players and Carlos belongs to that class. Most decorated player, one of the most decorated players in Africa. Jan Golan, Magnifique, Carlos Moraes, and Dundao up to the free throw line. With just five seconds left, there's a clock pressure here, an important trip to the free throw line. Dundao has got to get at least one. Well, he so far has uh, 24 points, a game high so far. He'll definitely finish as the highest scorer today. Oh, let's give him 25, shall we, Asha? That's it, 25 it is. And a timeout's been called, 83-89. Six points, 5.1 seconds remaining. You, you just get the end of, you, You're taking a look at this, Q, and you're saying, this is what the BAL is all about. Well, you saw the spirit of fight back from the BAL debutants in the season for Strabat. And what we're going to see coming out of this five seconds is a, a search for a quick shot. They're going to find an execution on, on the advance of the sideline out of bounds. And then maybe a quick foul just to send and put some pressure on the free throw shooter to go back up the other way. Maybe maybe three or four more possessions still await us. And we're going to see some excellence here for certain. Now, the thing is that Petra Loranda, if they would have, if they win this by more than nine points, then they put themselves in a favorable position in the head-to-head -head count. But if they don't, Fusta Rabat will be in their driving seat. We've still got games to play, of course, but I'm just saying. It's a certainly a note and a side note worth putting up there. And we have another look at that long-range bomb and the importance of just staying ready off the bench is not lost on Carlos Moraes. Listen, he... He's, he's part of the constellation of stars that we actually have here at the BAL, but he very much is the man at the top of the table at the moment because that has basically nudged them towards victory. How many more chapters do we have to write in this already awesome story of Carlos Moraes? He's just brilliant, and we love to have him here in the BAL. And we know that, you know, he's, he's not a young pup. No, not at all. But he probably will come back for as long as he can play. We've seen them with the, some of the Angolian, Angolan players, of course. Olympio was 41 when he was playing last year. And this hyperbolic chamber that seems to exist for athletes <laughs> nowadays. There you go. It's called loving life, isn't it? Goes up for three. Oh! Stunning shot there from Jordan. 
86-89. But that's it. It comes to an end. Petsu Luanda take the win.